After a sellout season in Sydney last year, the Alpine Winter Festival returns to cast its spell over Sydney and Melbourne, transforming both cities into a winter wonderland. All is not what it seemed at Bondi Pavilion. I'm Scott Winter and you're watching DeGroote's Lifestyle Media and we are at the Sydney Winter Festival here in a traditional ski hut, a Tyrolean ski hut designed by the Winter Festival. Uh, there's plenty of schnitzel, there's plenty of mulled wine. Let the fire crackle and enjoy the night. Enjoy some of the best entertainment your city has to offer. Glide across an outdoors Drexel cool ice rink, be warmed by the cosy wood fires and succumb to the delights of the international alpine food stalls. So I'm here with Martin Kratky, who is the brainchild behind the Sydney Winter Festival. What gave you this idea? Because a little bird tells me that you were surfing one day and you just happened to realize how much you were missing a true Austrian winter. Is that correct? It's about correct. Um, I met my business partner on Marugra Beach while surfing. He's uh, funny enough also from Austria and uh, we thought uh, we have to bring something like this to Australia. It's such an interesting, uh, nice atmosphere that we grew up with. And next year one of our plans is to have a real snow and freestyle park here where there will be snowboard shows and freestyle skiing, big jumps. So join in the fun at the Sydney and Melbourne Winter Festival. For more information, go to www.winterfestival.com.au. So as the temperature rises in the mulled wine and the temperature cools out there with the ice skating, we're going to say goodbye. This is Scott Windsor for DeGroote's Lifestyle Media Channel, coming to you from the Winter Festival in Sydney. That was juice. <laughs>